A member of Odua People's Congress, OPC, identified as Shola Oguntari, was reportedly attacked by suspected Fulani Esme in Ondu State. A report by the Vanguard has it that the incident happened at the Ara-Romi area of Oba Ile in Akure North. He was attacked on Friday night while he was walking with his motorcycle. The victim is a commercial motorcyclist. Speaking with newsmen in Akure, a member of OPC in Akure North, Mr. Tosin Omotayo said Oguntade was flagged down by two Fulani men opposite area command office. Omotayo said why Oguntade wanted to drop them at the OC junction. He requested for the affairs. As he stopped to drop the SMA and requested for payment, three others came out from the bush and attacked him. He said they shot him severally, but when the bullet could not enter, they hit him with planks. Omotayo said that his motorcycle and his proceeds for the day's job were taken away by the attackers. He added that the victim was discovered in the midnight on Sunday by some hunters who were on expedition. The victim, according to him, was rushed to the state hospital by members of the OPC and the police. Contacted the state police command spokesperson, Lee Tio Ikoro, said that the matter was yet to be reported to the state police command. Hmm. This is serious. This is serious. It's becoming unbecoming. Honestly, I don't know when uh, this uh, Amotekun is going to take off because the preparation is just even, uh, you know, it's taking so long. It's taking forever. I know they are going to put a lot of things together, but I think the earlier the better because these people are really anxious for them to, to start so that, you know, we will know where we belong. We will know where we are going to. We will know what is left. We will know what is remaining so that they will still know the uh, deficiency or the disadvantage of this Amotekun of a thing. You know, the more they start work, the more they they begin to know what and what they need to put together. But as it is now, I don't know. Uh, normally, are we supposed to be waiting for a motel in the first place? Because just like uh, the police said that the oh, it, uh, the issue has not reached, you know, they've not been reached out to. For how long? Even the ones that they, they, they are aware of, even the ones that were the situations that have been reported to them, what have they even done in the past? In the first place, are we not supposed to be confident that okay, yes, we have police around us? They will tell you, oh, police is your friend. Well, in reality, that is not the way it is, and I'm sure even the police people are really handicapped as well. They they can't do much because if uh the conventional uh, security people who do not have confidence in them, and now everybody is talking about Amotek, when are they going to start? When are they going to commence their operation? You know, it shows that. The conventional security is not just doing uh, its job or its responsibility. And that is what people have been talking about, that it's, it's even a, a dent or a discredit on the part of the government that if people can be looking for other means of securing themselves, you know, get, getting security uh, outfits apart from the conventional one, it's really a, a slap on the on the side of the, of the government. If everybody's not saying, oh, when is Amotekun going to start, going to start? Because this thing, these people are just having their days. They are just, you know, no hindrance at all. No hindrance at all. Nobody is challenging them. And the police people are dead. The security people are dead. They are not challenging them. They don't even have fear. And that's why I said even the police are really handicapped. And normally, we know that our police, if really they are ready to work, they can do, they can do more than what we even think of. They can go and, and it can do exploits. That is just the way it is. But there's something that is really holding them back. We know that if police really want to do their job, nothing, if they are ready. Because when you hear them go outside, you know, to perform some things outside the country, they come at the best. But why is it that at home they cannot do much? Something is holding them back, which we know. Of course, we know that uh, most of the time, majority of them are really compromised. These say uh, police people, they are compromised. But if they are ready to work, Believe you me, they are the best, but something is always, you know, holding them back, especially when it comes to this issue of ASME. If people are now waiting for Amotekun, Amotekun, Amotekun should not, you know, supposed to be a compliment to, to, uh, uh, to work with them, not that they are supposed to take charge in the first place. When the real people who are supposed to take charge are not 
doing much. Then even I, I even does even when they are multiple uh, uh, starts, whether they will be able to do much because their job is just to complement what the police will be doing because they are not going to be taking charge of the whole security scene. But as it is now, the police is still telling us that they, they, it's not been reported. They've not heard anything. The ones that they have, they have been told, the ones that have been reported to them, what have they done in the first place? That is the question. But it's just unfortunate that people are victims. People who are victims of all of these things, you know, they, 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 they can't do anything. Even the people around them cannot do anything. Nobody can even secure anybody. You can imagine the man was just going on his own. But we could hear from uh, uh, the incident that happened in Kogi State when police were looking for, or maybe they are still looking for, there's a kind of manhunt for those who uh, uh, killed uh, this, uh, it was it three Fulani Esme. And the people are asking that. But when it comes to, when it reverses the case, what do they do? They don't do anything. And they were even trying to explain to the public that, oh, the Fulani Esme, the Esme, they were on their own doing their legitimate business. But what of the farmers who have been doing their legitimate business? Thousands, thousands of them that have been doing their legitimate business, yet they, they, they've been attacked. They have been attacked on a daily basis. What do you do? You don't even come out to carefully explain to people how all of those things happen. The incident happened between the farmers and the herdsmen. So that is to tell you that there's something, there's one kind of, a, I don't know whether a, a, a power or a, how would I put it, maybe instruction for them not to do anything or they themselves do not believe that, you know, they, uh, they, uh, they can see the handwriting on the wall because even if they arrest them, maybe a, a call will call, come for them to say, oh, release these people, release these people. You know, something is really, really wrong. If really police, if they according to what they say that police is your friend, they should be able to tell us what has been happening. Of course, that will not happen. They will not even tell us that maybe power that be, you know, trying to deprive them from doing their job. You can imagine the way they just dealt with this uh, OPC guy in Nondo State. In Nondo State, see the way they dealt with this guy. Very, very unfortunate. If not that, uh, you know, some people came uh, to his rescue, what are we going to be saying now? It's, it would have been a different uh, board game entirely. And the same area, it, was it not the same area that uh, this, uh, 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 the Afeni Ferris uh, uh, leader's daughter, you know, was killed? And police were playing ignorance, feigning ignorance that they didn't know uh, if they said anything happening in that area. And people told them that in this, uh, there's a particular place that these people are always coming out from to operate. But they will just be telling you that there is nothing. Just the way they are saying, oh, they've not been told, they've not been informed. When are you going to be informed? Now that they have been informed, they've heard about it, let them go and do what they need to do. They will still want you to come and, you know, it's, it's very, very unfortunate. We are so lucky in this country because anyhow, we are just living anyhow. People who are living, that's the that's what, that's what I uh, mean by that, uh, that we are so lucky. Because, you know, it's just survival of the fit. Everybody, whatever that comes your way any day, every day, you know, that is what you will take. You know, if you are going to take water, you will pray. If you are going to the toilet, you will pray. If you want to enter a car, if you are going, you know, you pray, 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 pray everything. What we are supposed to do, we will not do it. What the government is supposed to do, they will not do it. But what do we do since there's nobody to rescue anybody? You just have to uh, devise another means. Prayer, any little thing you pray. If you want to drink water, you pray. If you want to raise your hand, you pray. Everything, prayer, prayer, prayer. You know, you know, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. If really prayer is everything, then that means you have to just, you don't, you don't have to walk. Just stay, stay there and you say, you know, yeah, prayer, feed my, feed my tummy. I'm hungry, feed my tummy. It doesn't work that way. There are some things that you need to do. Even before the prayer will work, there are some things that you will do for you to, to make that prayer uh, effective. It's unfortunate. It's been happening. And believe you me, it will still happen again. Because from what we are seeing, nothing is being put in place. No measures being put in place to curb all of these things. It will still happen again. But who is the, who is the next who is the next person? That is the question. Everybody will start praying. No, it is not my portion. It is not my portion. It is not my portion. And now they say they are going to, they are about to launch their uh, security outfit nationwide. But we are waiting on how they are going to get away with that. Let's see what will happen. They are going to get away with that. Very, very unfortunate. Someone says, uh, uh, Yoruba, be careful. Fulani Esme and Aousa are, 
uh, with weapons to fight you suddenly. If even if the matter is being reported to the state police command, they will do nothing because they are full and is the untouchable. Someone say then, uh, where is your amotekun? That's a good question which we have been asking. Uh, someone say, uh, well, let's hear your own opinion concerning this because I'm really speechless. I'm speechless. But somebody somewhere feeling the pain, bear, bearing the body somewhere, somebody somewhere. A lot of people are in pain. A lot of people are in pain, are in, in agony. Some have lost relatives, they've lost everything, lost their business, all that they've worked for, they've lost it. Some are in agony as we speak. So, guys, let's hear your opinion. Leave your comments below.